Hello Melee community on YouTube, this is T1 Glistener Elf and KO Jr. And we're going to uh, show you really quickly my, uh, my L canceling tutorial. This is our uh, tutorial video. Uh, I'm gonna be this one? I don't even know Link's skins. What's the... let's see. Silver's the best. Silver's the best? Silver's the best. I'm gonna see what this... it's L on black. There we go. So that's step one. Uh, let's pick something with... I don't know. What's a good one? I don't... Uh, this is so obviously this is 20XX. <laughs> so, how about... We'll go to Hyrule Temple. With a lot of room. Well, <laughs> I don't even know what L for thing is. I don't think. Okay, so let me show you really quickly. So L doesn't mean L button. It's L for lag. Mm -hmm. And basically, whenever you do a move in the air, ignore the time. We're gonna do this in eight minutes. We got an eight minute timer. <laughs> whenever you do a move in the air, you'll notice that I have a red flashing on. But uh, so it ends at a certain point. So when I do like that. That ends before I hit the ground. Um, but for moves that don't end before you hit the ground, like that, or most famously, Link's down air, uh, there are two separate timings for when it can end. There's if you do it too early, which gives you a lot of lag. Yeah. And then there's if you hit what's called an auto-cancel window, which like all moves take a certain number of frames. The frames at the very end of the moves are called auto-cancel frames. If you hit the ground during those frames, then you're, it'll just automatically cancel the lag. Right. So a famous example would be like Jigglypuff's back air. Uh, even when you short hop, Jigglypuff's back air can auto-cancel uh, because its window is so huge. Mm -hmm. On the other side of it, there's something like Link's down air, which takes about 15 years to, uh, to finish. <laughs> if I... <laughs> it takes like that long in order to end normally. Oh, sorry, my bad. My big, let the chillin' dude, my big. So, uh, in order to cancel that, you can press L or R uh, within a certain number of frames before you hit the ground. And I think it's three frames, but I, I could be mistaken. So, oh. That. Oh, dang. Yeah, so when you flash white on 20XX, oh, it's not doing it at all for your character. No. Well, here, take me, take me. <laughs> I, I don't know what link I am. There we go, so, yeah, you get it. And that was... I have no idea. It takes a while, and oh, yeah, especially when you... Yeah, there you go. When you practice a giving character a lot, you get the character-specific timings. It's really important for characters like Fox, because a common approach for Fox is the drill shine approach, where you down there and, like, drills them so that it's a multi-hit. You need to L-cancel it, though, in order to follow up with a shine really well. So, you know, you jump, you do short hop, for instance, uh, drill, L cancel, shine, wave dash, shine, wave dash, until you can wave shine them, or you can, like, wave into an up smash. That's another common one. So, especially for a character, and that's a really common approach option for a fox. You know? Yeah. How many frames does Link have for his... Is that a two-frame launch one? No, it's, it's gotta be really high. Okay, so, <laughs> I'm also working on wave dashing. I'm so bad at wave dashing. Uh, it's, it's just a practice thing. So let's uh, let's switch up. This is also apparently the wave dashing tutorial. Twenty uh, XX Fox only final destination. No items. Yeah, uh, personally, Blue Fox is best Fox. I don't. I think this is the Cloud Nine Fox. So I'm gonna try it out. Cloud Nine Fox is best Fox. Uh, we're gonna go to where else? Final destination. Okay. First of all, okay, none of that. And my baby, if she were here, she would just be dying laughing. She loves that I do that. So, uh, we're practicing on Fox for a number of reasons. You'll see in just a second. So, whenever your character jumps, I did it. You, you just, you just did it. But I, I wasn't watching. It. It. You just did it. That's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain for everybody else too. Um, when your character jumps, they have a certain number of what are called locked frames, or squat frames, or jump frames, or whatever. Um, what happens, and if you were watching this in really slow motion, when Fox jumps, he's actually crouching on the ground for two frames, and then on the third frame, he launches into the air. 
And of course, if you release a uh, jump in time, then your character will do a short hop. And so that's where that comes in. You know, yada yada yada. You get the idea. Yeah. Okay, so that's a short hop. Yay, fun. Um, when your character does their, like, right when they're in the air, if you do it too early, it's hard to do it early with Fox because he only has two frames, but, you know, oh, that is way too late now. Um, if you use it on as soon as the third frame, in the case of Fox, then yeah, you'll get a, your character can air dog, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> so, when you jump, you can change the direction that you're moving with air dodge. You can't do this in Brawl or uh, Smash 4 because they didn't want you to be able to do this. This is not really a glitch, this is a physics exploit. Wave dashing is a physics exploit. Basically, you're, when you wave dash onto a platform, what's, what's supposed to happen is you, or platform or ground, you carry the momentum from your air dodge onto the ground and it's based on your character's traction. That's why Peach goes pretty much nowhere and Luigi goes halfway across FD. It's because of their traction values. Um, so when you play a character like Fox, he's about he's right in the middle, something like that. Um, not in terms of length, but he, like he has the medium. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm working on it. <laughs> You're gonna try the drills now. But well, okay, so what's really important though to note is that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put these things together for you because you're Fox, and I I know at tomorrow's tournament you're gonna pull this out and just wreck me. But uh, so when you shine, it's normally like that. When you use the reflector, but let's face it, when you shine, uh, everyone thinks of it as, as that. Um, you can use a there are a bunch of moves where you can jump cancel out of. Uh, shield is the most common. Every character except Yoshi can jump out with their shield, and because dropping your shield takes about 15 frames, that's a really bad way, so you usually just get out of it with a jump. Um, you can also do that with your shine. That was that was a perfect one. That's I think they call that a blip. Uh, where the shine... Now he... There we go. Where the shine doesn't even show... The reflector doesn't show up. You just get it and whip out. Uh, the hitbox will still come out. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. Now, not a fox mane. I'm gonna John. I'm not a fox mane. Yeah, you, you're, you're getting it. Now, you do have to do it a certain number of frames out, because if you wait too long... Oh, never mind. There we go. Maybe I'm just bad. I'm just bad. I'm okay. <laughs> of all people to be showing you this, I'm probably not the guy. I'm gonna admit. Well, I have no idea about anything in this game. Alright. Well, welcome to the wonderful world of, you know, 20XX. This is 20XX. So, the way that you wave shine is you shine, and you can jump out of your shine. Now when you jump out of your shine, because you've jumped, you can wave dash. And when you wave dash, the reason that's such an important technique, for a lot of characters it's just used, it's used mostly for micro positioning. Characters that have really short wave dashes, like Jigglypuff, or Peach, or Zelda, they use it for micro positioning. I didn't think you'd land into a wave dash. Right? Oh yeah. Like just straight up like cancel everything and just be lame and just go. Yeah, there you go. That's cool. Now, other than micro positioning though, what happens is you can actually the game treats you as standing when you wave dashing. So for example, you know, I can wave dash in, jab up smash. Uh, something like that. Did I get off? Okay. No, no, no. It's on this controller. Oh, it's on that controller. That's right. Switch again. <laughs> it, sure, we do that. We do that. Oh. There I am. Wait, I'm Red Fox now. <laughs> My one weakness. And to me, Red Fox is worst Fox. No, Red Fox is the best. Okay, there we go. And now, one thing to note about no canceling while we're doing it, while we're still doing that, is. Um, which, so when you hit an enemy, you're put in, they're put into hit stun. Hit stun means that for a certain number of frames, they're not going anywhere. Uh, in the case of something like Fox's Up Smash, that puts them, I think it's like 8 frames of hit stun. During that time, your character, the one that's hitting them, also isn't moving at the same pace. So your L cancel timing is different when you 
don't hit them versus when you hit them on shield or actually hit them. So you can't just get into the habit of you know, L canceling at a given moment. It has to be based on whether you hit them or not. And that's really hard to do because usually a human's reaction time is about 15 frames in a 60 FPS game, about a quarter of a second. With the exception of like Ganon's down air, Falcon Punch, really, you know, really long stuff like that. It's really tough to have enough time to react. And so, L canceling is something that even pros have a hard time with. When they're having to mix up between, oh, I hit you, I L cancel, and I missed you, I L cancel. Okay. So, try to put it together. Okay, I'm working on it. Blip. Blip. There we go. Blip. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> Now, one other quick thing I wanted, while I'm doing this, <laughs> Falco. You don't have to be Falco if you don't want, but now that I'm, I'm gonna be, oh, which Falco? I'm gonna be this Falco because I don't care. Uh, FD again. Uh, <laughs> So, here's another cool little thing. Remember I said you have a certain number of launch frames? Mm -hmm. Now this is something I'm obviously not very good at. Get a little double shine in there. Now I can't do it. There we go. Okay, so what happens is, remember I said you can jump cancel a shine? Yeah. And that's important because when you are in those launch frames, like, this is what you look like when you're jumping, when you're about to jump. You crouch down. <laughs> So, when you shine, you jump out of the shine, but during those launch frames, you can input another shine. So you can shine twice and then twice? You can do, it's called a, a double shine, or do more than two, and it's just called the multi-shine. And it's, it's pretty sick, admittedly. Stuff like that. The main reason, like, it's not usually very practical, but especially for newer players, that just, frankly, you don't get too much out of it. Um, but it looks cool. It looks cool, <laughs> but there is an actual practical purpose to it, which is shield. Okay. Oh, it'll break my shield? It'll just pop, it keeps hitting at your shield, basically. Now, some characters, like, other than Samus, not too many characters can get out of that without, at least without making themselves very vulnerable. That's the trick. So, Peach can roll out, Samus really gets out. She uses her update, mm -hmm. and the first five frames are invincible when the hitbox comes out before the invincibility ends. That gets you out. But other than those characters, like if you're not Samus, you're rolling out, and that can leave you vulnerable. So there is an actual practical purpose to it, but not at our level of play. <laughs> not usually. <laughs> usually when someone shields, it's just easier to grab. Yeah. <laughs> now just because why not? Oh. Oh, dang. I, I don't really have a Falco, but I'm going to pretend I do. <laughs> uh, I've been playing the, uh, the one of the Wii U. Oh, no, no, no! It must be laser! <laughs> you pulled a me. I pulled, yeah. Falco. Falco, the Falco life. Oh. Welcome to... Smash for noobs. <laughs> I'm your host, Steve White Goods for Elf. <laughs> Smash for people who roll instead of wave dash. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so this is how Falco sets the pace of the match against Fox. Oh, man. Oh, I can't do the, I can't do the back. Do what can't the weird the weird thing where he like stalls? Where he stalls? Yeah. Oh, a short one. Yeah. So you do that by just slightly tilting the we'll, we'll pause for a second. But when you do the side I'm, I'm working on it. I'm not good. But there's a short one. Yeah. I'm I'm trying. I'm just really not getting it. Oh, I killed the short one. Wow. 
Okay. Maybe I just don't get it. <laughs> okay. So anyway... <laughs> Fine, yes. Cheeky! Cheeky! <laughs> Did you just power shield? I think I did. You know what a power shield is, right? No. Okay, it's where you time your shield at such a time that it hits, like... Basically, it cancels the lag from dropping the shield. Oh. But you have to time it super perfectly. There we oh. go. There we go. The down air. The down air spike. Falcon who spans down air. Simwa. Smash the eye that. Oh, or not. Let's just not smash the eye anything. <laughs> Pro melee. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I guess I, I need to hold it down. making your percent higher. I'm working on trying to get it to come back. Oh, it only yeah, does it does it does. Oh. Oh, this the short hop. Oh, that would have been it. <laughs> Falco down air. There's so it lasts so long that and he falls so quickly that'll just do it. Now that was far from a real match. So real match? Uh I guess, sure. Sure, let's do it. I'm gonna cut both of them and make editing easier. <laughs>